The Parish football team has worn pink during the month of October to recognize Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The guys didn't truly understand the why behind pink. Head football coach Chris Colton had good reason to do more than just let his team wear the color. I'm a cancer survivor, and so I had it very young. Four years ago, Coach Colton was diagnosed with bladder cancer. It was caught early and removed through surgery. He wanted his team to understand the month is about more than a color. Pink is just a color. It's a spotlight. You're shining a spotlight on something. You're not doing anything to kill cancer. So the head coach decided to do something about it. Instead of just wearing pink, but spending $40 on pink socks, you know, uh, what can we do? And so I thought I kind of wanted to reach out to somebody local and I just uh, got in touch with Emily. It was really cool when I talked to Coach Colton that his message was different. He didn't just want to have his kids wear pink and then parade me around and say, hey, this is a survivor, you know, and send me on my way. He really wanted me to help make a difference and an impact to these kids. Three years ago, Emily Rhodes was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer, which led to a bilateral mastectomy. She's been cancer free now for over two years. And Coach Colton wanted her to share her story with his team. Well, my name, like uh, Coach Colton said, is Emily Rhodes. I am a parish resident, just like y'all. And I'm actually a 29 year old breast cancer survivor. After they heard uh, Emily's story, it was it was something that was real, and the guys didn't laugh about it. Uh, they took it serious. I had no idea what to expect. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be talking to teenage boys about boobs. <laughs> What's the experience like uh, when you're uh, when you're first told that you're diagnosed? Really, really good questions that I would have never expected teenage boys to come up with regarding this topic. So it was really, really heartwarming to see that it like they, they really took it to heart. What happened after that meeting blew Coach Colton away. His young bulls not only took Emily's message to heart, they went out and did something about it. The guys came up with around well, $900 in about two weeks, maybe about a week and a half. They were so passionate about like, hey, we gotta get more money and let's get these donations. Let's ask these people, let's talk to that. Let's spread the word. It was incredible. Last season, Emily was presented with a check during a Bulls home game. And that was just the beginning. It's one of those things they ask me, Coach, are we doing this again? And that's when you kind of realize, uh-oh, we, we might actually have something here. We really wanted to drill home why we wear pink and what this means to people. Um, and then moreover, not just that part, but he also wanted to actually help fundraise. This year, the Bulls almost doubled their total from that first check last season. And in the process, learned a valuable life lesson. I hope this is not the end of anything. I hope this is the start of something, you know? And I, I believe putting action behind the, the, the color is, is the way to go now. Watch out, Dave In Parish, Mike Aarons, Spectrum Sports 360.